Hey guys, it's Speedmaster. Master. Welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi wi wi battle. We're doing number 281 featuring Get Again Pick Misfit. Now, this time we'll do a triple battle for once. So, there we go. We just wanna just wanna do a triple battle at least once before this thing is over. And we're gonna get to launch her later, so get ready for that. So anyway, so he says in three really weird Pokemon. Like he says in like three and FE, you got Pounce is okay with the new life, you know what you're doing. And Waylord, which is okay. That's it. Oh, and just so you know, quite a lot of them are underleveled. So, yeah. There's a lot of them underleveled. Like, the only people are trying to get two others. He has a B-Sharp, I don't remember. That's uh, a little 50. The rest are underleveled. And so I made so uh, I made a huge, like, um, another big mistake in this, in that uh, I shifted twice. I didn't really mean to shift twice because the sensor used the rotations that, uh, the slot that you set to, to shift is to rotate, so I'm really used to, to the rotation mentality in doing this. And since you can't undo um, the shift once on, on the third Pokemon gets a move, so yeah, that's how it ended up. Not sure if it's for the better or not, though, as a thing. But, uh, whatever. So, I guess you could say this is like the match for Butterfree, because like I said, Butterfree doesn't really, um, yeah, this is like, I call this a match for Butterfree because um, Butterfree just 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 sticks there all the time. Even though they're a Pokemon that can easily KO it, like I said, for like the Pupitar, if he has like Rock Slide or something, it could easily, you know, deal a lot of damage to it. But no, it has a freaking Dark Pulse. So uh, I don't know if it really wants to get rid of Soul Rock or something, but whatever. Cause like Soul Rock doesn't really do anything. Cause like uh, Soul Rock is Bandit. So Soul Rock is Bandit has a lot of physical attacks. Uh, but that's all it does. However, it didn't really get much of a time to shine. So yeah, it's kind of a bummer for for Soul Rock. I mean, I mean yeah, cause like even the one tr the one chance it has to uh, possibly hit things, no, it missed. So there you go. So there goes Soul Rock. Soul Rock's possible like usability. And it's kind of kind of cool thing that uh, because Soul Rock has Levitate, it can miss your play therefore it retain Ping Waylord. And freaking Arbok is still mostly the same. <laughs> so there you go. That that's why Arbok's pretty cool because uh, Arbok's Earthquake it's actually pretty helpful like overall since uh, especially in a triple battle. It's kind of cool that Arbok even has Earthquake in the first place. That's a thing. So there you go. So I said Sigilyph now, so yeah. As you can probably tell why I have this T set up like this, because Arbok has a, uh, yeah, Arbok's Earthquake actually does pretty, is pretty helpful in this situation because since, uh, well, my other partners are, are flying type, so yeah. So I have a free continue setting up, even though uh, at this point it's probably not even necessary since, well, Arbok's Earthquake is pretty powerful enough to do deal lots of damage. Especially considering that everyone's freaking underleveled. So I'm gonna just stand there. If you just stand there, this is a coil. Do nothing while Sigilyph and Butterfree can just attack. So, there you go. And then here's Whale over here trying to use Surf, you know, super effective against his own Pokemon. Literally KOing his own guy. So, not, not tell you sure if it's a good thing because, um, I don't even know. I don't know why, what's, the, what's the point of that. Since Surf didn't do that much damage to any of my guys, and all I did was KO his own character, his own Pokemon. So, big fail there. And that's the beast I was talking about. So, yeah, I can tell this is getting way too easy. And it goes, it goes Bish Sharp. Out goes Bish Sharp. Just, just let this music came in. Wow. So, like, that's pretty much the match, because that's it. Uh, this is actually like pretty, pretty simple match using you know the Pokemon uh, I don't normally use that much in uh, battle mode. That again I don't use much at all. That being a true battle, so it's like misfit. So of course even though Kalos used Pokemon, Wings, they still got got a few left. I think it's got only one left considering stuff. So I think the only left is, Her is Heracross, and well we know it's gonna happen next battle free. So. That is, uh, I guess that's everything for uh, 281. So for uh, 282, it's gonna be uh, uh, the third of the last 
third of three pick misfit matches in the show for the rest of the uh, Pokemon Wi-Fi. So, yeah, hope to, yeah, hope to see you at that match then. Uh, well, see you guys later for Pokemon Wi-Fi 282. Wait, that's number of Gardevoir!